cynicism, the smirky underdog of philosophy. When you look up cynicism online, you'll probably bump into Diogenes, the Greek philosopher, who might be the greatest troll of ancient history. He became notorious for his philosophical and theatrical stunts, like carrying a lamp in broad daylight, claiming to be looking for an honest man, as he viewed the people around him as dishonest and irrational. Cynicism shines a light on the hypocrisy of human behavior, revealing the gap between words and actions, ideals and realities. They believed that virtue was better demonstrated in practice, taught by example, and prompted people to think by deliberately making a mockery of cherished social conventions. Alexander the Great's visit to Diogenes the Cynic, also known as Socrates gone mad in the industry, is a famous anecdote illustrating the contrast between imperial ambitions and the pursuit of simplicity and disregard for material wealth. Intrigued by Diogenes' reputation, Alexander sought him out and found a beggar lying in the sun and approached him with an offer, stating that he could grant any request for him. The philosopher famously replied, Yes, stand out of my sunlight. I would argue that modern cynicism, akin to its ancient counterpart, primarily thrives outside academic circles. The crust punk subculture, for instance, shares numerous values and aesthetic elements with ancient cynicism, including voluntary poverty, a dismissal of social norms, a nomadic existence, and a vigorous critique of societal structures. The Dada movement mirrors cynicism with its whimsically nihilistic and anarchistic disdain for conventional norms. From the skeptical musings of ancient Greece to the satirical writings of Jonathan Swift and Mark Twain, the voice in the crowd shouting, I told you so. Cynics see through the veneer of society, exposing the flaws and contradictions that lie beneath. It's a call to question, to challenge, to never settle for easy answers. Tired of sugar-coated platitudes and false promises? Try cynicism for a day and see how it feels. That's a wrap on cynicism in 100 seconds. If you like this quick dive into skepticism with a twist, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more.